who be helping you like come up with the concepts and shit like behind uh like your can music I do videos? this? Yeah, okay, it's your you. world. Like you design, like you edit your videos and shit because you you a creative ass nigga. So I'm just assuming that you do. You got your hands on the creative part on everything you do. Yeah, I was editing my YouTube videos on my Not phone. Not YouTube music videos. Oh, my music videos, yeah. bro. I'm like Matt and excuse me, you know what I'm saying? Like I know I'm a I'm an artist and shit. You know what I mean? Like. My all my music videos, bro. Like my manager be even saying like, "Yo, like everybody says I'm like, I might as well just take the job." Like you feel mm -hmm. me? Like I be mad involved in everything, you know. Like I don't, I'm not the type of artist that's just gonna like pay you a bag to do something and just kind of let you do it and just give it to me. Like you know, I yeah. I know that everybody's like good at what they do and stuff like that, but like. I be knowing like exactly how I want stuff and ex I be having a vision. And when I have a vision, it needs to come to life like exactly the way I need it to, you know? And like with certain music videos like Plastic where I was like, okay, like I'm going to let shit just, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to let people do what they do. They're, they're the professionals. Certain shit didn't turn up how, turn how I wanted it to and then it gets 12 million views and it's like, fuck. And people are mentioning certain shit that I that I would that I would have changed. So it's kind of like, damn, like, damn, I wouldn't have picked that bitch to be in the music video. Like that mm. they're saying looks like a 50-year-old white woman. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I'm guessing on the video you just dropped recently, like a month ago, the scene video, mm -hmm. it was more creative, like more hands-on. Yeah, hell yeah. Like the video far. Yeah. All the way. So what's the how you come up with the concept behind that one? Uh, y'all on the tennis court? Yeah, scene. <sighs> I just be sleeping on it. I be I be like playing shit over like and over and sleeping on it for like days. And then it's like until I don't know. Like I look up to like Tyler the Creator, Childish Gambino and stuff like that when it comes to visuals. I feel like Tyler has always taken his visuals super serious. Like, you know? So like like no matter how silly or goofy it was, you couldn't like deny the quality of the video. You know what I'm saying? Like the quality of the visuals. And good visuals be making the song 10 times better when someone doesn't really f with the song like that. So I take visuals serious. That's why, I like, Tada, fire video. Fire. You got a. Uh, Tyler the Creator had a, a thing that went viral the other day because I think on his uh, Nardwar interview, he said, you know, rappers want people to take their music serious, but then they come out and they do sneaker shopping shows and they do, you know, sort of frivolous content, which I thought was an interesting point because it's like, if, if the reason why rappers do that is because if they do a bunch of interviews just talking about their music, that's not going to be viral or whatever. But then right. meanwhile, if you're like Childish Gambino and you do sneaker shopping, you're going to get like 4 million views. And it'll at least remind people you have an like, album coming out. Mm -hmm. so, and, so how do you feel about that? Because that's kind of the whole question is like, should you do things outside of music to promote your music? Yeah, like, like that's like like saying I should have never like did YouTube to promote my music. Nigga, I was doing YouTube to promote my music and like... Realizing like, bro, my numbers is better than niggas who just rap. You see what I'm saying? It's like, I'm looking at niggas who just rap and it's like, do you have over five to 10 music videos with millions of views? No. Do you, you know what I'm saying? Do you have songs with millions of streams? Well, some of them do, but it's like, it's some niggas that just rap that or, you know what I'm saying? It's like, I don't know. I, I feel like it's the same thing. I feel like you got to do, sometimes you got to do things that intrigue an audience and just remind them of the music once you have their attention. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, you work smarter. Like, yeah, I think Tyler, uh, and Tyler, Tyler Tyler's was doing, touch. Tyler was doing silly shit with his friends. Like, yeah, on Lord of Squad. I don't know why he's like all of a sudden, like, I think Tyler, he, I fuck with you heavy though. He's kind of out of touch on this though because it's like in re he has the privilege of being such a fucking celebrity and such a fan base that he can just put such music a out. Star. He doesn't have to do interviews. He doesn't have to do anything. Him doing Nardwar right. is a favor to Nardwar. That's right. like, oh, I respect you, so I'm going to do this content with you. Mm -hmm. And it's not even like at the time he's putting an album out or whatever. And like he doesn't seem to really be in touch with the struggle mm -hmm. of the average rapper who's just desperate for anybody to pay attention for to For some them. attention. And it's like, by the way, I just I just I just saved that to my watch later, the Nardwar interview. You did another one. I was like, gotta watch this. Right. Like well, if Tyler does a Nardwar interview, it's like, let's go to it. Like, you know, I, I should watch the whole thing. Yeah, I'm, go. I'm just going off quick. But 
Yeah, bro. Like, nigga has, like, some crazy-ass undeniable, like, you could just drop today and you're going to do at least 100,000 first week mm. type fan base. Everybody don't got that. You know what I'm saying? So to be saying, like, bro, y'all promo runs are stupid. Like, <laughs> nigga, damn. Like, yeah, that's crazy because, like, the first thing I think I seen with Tyler Crater was him eating a roach. So I was like, nigga, you was doing that. But he was like a wild ass, crazy skateboarder kid doing all this crazy shit. And now he's a f-ing rich dude who is still in touch with like the youth lifestyle and shit. Yeah, no, but t- no Tyler he's Slander. He's also kind of disconnected lie. from No the Tyler Slander. Bit, no Tyler Slander. No, not sure. at all. Yeah. But I mean, he definitely doesn't need to go do sneaker shopping. Yeah, but yeah, but I can't agree with every single opinion just because no Tyler Slander. But like, he put the chicken wings on there too, hot ones. Yeah, I think that he like came straight heard, for complex. Yeah, yeah, he can't. Yeah, that was crazy. Those like, are complex damn. properties. He could have just said promo runs. He said he he mentioned it like three times. Too. We might not be talking about it if he hadn't specified the hot wing show and the sneaker shopping show. You know, I don't know <laughs> if he had just been real general, then we probably wouldn't be talking about it. You know, I don't know. Did you go to Complex Con this year? Uh, yeah, I went. Oh, uh, I seen you there. I'm yeah, sure yeah, yeah. we seen each other. Yeah, oh, like, shit, right? damn. Yeah. <laughs> what you, you seen? Uh, what you did when Ian Connor got to fight him? Ian Connor got to fight him. Yeah, Complex Con. Literally, like right after I seen you. Nah. Yeah. Right after you seen me. Yeah, like you, cause you showed up late when I seen you. That's when you <laughs> was just getting there. Like it literally just happened right after that. I didn't see that. Yeah, you didn't see that. Remo was hyped that he got Who to see fought? a viral fight in real life. Who he fought? Nah, uh, <laughs> fucking uh, Uno, Uno, the Uno the activist. Yeah. Uno the activist? Yeah. Shout out Uno nah, the activist. It was just a lot of commotion in that motherfucker. I was like, damn, it was just Shout out Uno, now, bro. Why they, why they fight? Mm. Old shit. Probably. Yeah, yeah, I wish I knew. I wish I could remember oh, they was like, beefing? the I root know that. of why they wouldn't get along, but it's been a long time. Oh, I didn't know that they didn't get along. I didn't yeah. either. But yeah. I also, I'm not surprised because they were around during that era at the shout same out, time. Shout out, shout out Uno, though. I wonder if Uno talks shit about Ian on the podcast. Great music. Great I music. Know. I can't remember. Who do you listen to right now or who do you fuck with music? Tizo. Mm. <laughs> like Tizo. Tizo's going crazy right now. Going stupid. Very, like, <sighs> niggas like Tizo, like, Tizo, Kanye, th- like, they remind me of myself. You know what I'm saying? Because, like, they have such an artistic, like, a wild artistic expression. And, like, they show it through their fashion and, like, on their body and in their videos. And, like, for you see someone like Atizo and you like, wow, like he's just on a run. He's just killing shit right now. And it's like most people wouldn't see the last 10 years of his work. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm. or just like him having a passion for this and like having to rebrand himself multiple times or like, you know what I'm saying? Just like yeah. all that, like, and him being over 30 years old like you know like motherfuckers because it became such a popular thing that like you like 28 and you ain't made it like like what you doing bro like go nigga go start a family or something you feel me but it's like bro like 25 30 you know what i'm saying them, them like them prime years for niggas like you go crazy you could really go crazy motherfuckers don't be understanding that though like yeah if you want to be successful you definitely can't just give up at 30 yeah. I didn't get problems until like 32, 33. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't even like doing this shit until like, then. I was doing the bike riding shit and then finally something outside of that started to mm, work after all those years, you know? Y'all heard that. Adam ain't get popping till 33,000. But a lot of people old. too, fucking like Nicki Minaj, Future, like these are people who didn't really get to be popular Two chains. until they were like damn near 30. Even Jay Z dropped yeah. his like first album like 29 or something. You feel me? So it's like, I have that mindset now. I used to be one of them motherfuckers, like, in the 2016, 20, like, wave where all these motherfuckers started just becoming younger and younger and younger, it did feel like, okay, if I don't make it by, like, 20, I'm done. But, like, before I know it, bro, I'm 23. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, I'm just now, like, with the shit I just dropped, I'm just, like, getting, like, major, like, artists reaching out to me, like, like on some like really respectable shit, like like mainstream niggas, like the, the NLE choppers and the like, you know what I'm saying? 